Cute animals are problematic. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! In these divisive times, the people need an escape from the atrocities of the world, and one of the most common peaceful retreats for the layperson is binge watching cute animal videos. Well, yep. consider your digital utopian calming yurt firebombed by truth, because cute animals are actually evil. It's time for, can we find out the evil deeds of these super cute animal breeds? All right, Link, come on out and check out the magic matching board. Is it safe? Uh, yeah, unless you're allergic to magnets. I love magnets. Okay, I love it when we get to stand up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that, uh, that, that may have been cheating. Oh, good. I don't think it was. Okay, I mean, Any advantage I do. can get. I have seven just completely disgusting facts about how evil animals can get. Okay. I'm gonna read a fact and you're gonna take one of these cute animals, you have nine to choose from, there's only seven facts, and you're going to place them next to the facts, and then after you're done with putting them all together, I'm going to give you one, I'm gonna tell you how many you got right, then you're gonna have a switcheroo opportunity. Okay, okay, okay I'm ready for this. And then if you get, how many were you looking for him to get right? If you get four or more right, which is, that should really happen, you're gonna get your own cuddly, plushy, stuffed animal that you're gonna feel very different about after this game. Oh, really? Okay. Here's the first one. This adorable animal will voluntarily eat a human face and continue devouring said human alive until they die of blood hemorrhage. Oh. Isn't that cute? They will voluntarily eat a human face? You don't have to even command it? Happily eat human faces. <laughs> ah. The best tactic here is to figure out which one of these animals would be capable of figuring out how to buy bath salts. <laughs> Look at that cute dog face. Now, Jade licks me in the face all the time. I don't know if that's a precursor to her eating my face off, but I don't think so. Mm, mm. And a dolphin, it's hard to eat a face underwater. Trust me. Doesn't the water soften it though? That's a good point, right? Hmm. <laughs> I made you think twice. <sighs> so it's gotta be something that can really chomp and chew. Wait, wait, is this just a kitten? That is not just a kitten, that is a margay. A what? Margay. A margay? Is that a full grown margay or a baby margay? Uh, I think they don't get much bigger than that. I think they're always cute. Uh, Perpetually cute. I know cute. that koalas can be fierce and I think that they have teeth. So okay, all right. <laughs> I'm going with- There's logic. <laughs> I mean, well, I know they have teeth, but I think they have teeth sharp enough to eat a face, is okay. what I really meant. All right, here's the second one. Our next creature is shockingly cute. Anaphylactic shock, that is. They produce a poison from their elbows that they then mix with their saliva in order to severely poison anyone who attempts to touch them with a single bite. Cuddly. Poison comes out of the elbow? Yeah, look at my weenus. Yeah. Think about that, that, that would be, I mean, I'd be like a freaking superhero. You didn't say touch it, but are you okay with me pulling on I love it when people touch my weenus. No poison in it. Yeah, because I haven't licked it yet. Poisonous elbows. Oh, they lick the elbow, poison comes out. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, evil. And I don't think a pig has an elbow, so pff, marking that one off. Uh, well, swans mm. don't have elbows. Okay. Penguins don't have elbows. Clownfish do have elbows, interestingly enough, but there's no poison in them. Okay. Man, this, this, this that uh, is a, a slow loris, loris, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, look, at, that thing looks demented with its head all cocked over yeah. like it's possessed. possessed. I'm definitely thinking, let me look at the elbow. Elbow's hidden in that picture, but maybe that was on purpose. You don't have to move fast if you got poison coming out of your elbows. Okay, here's another one. This extremely cute animal is surprisingly the most aggressive of their kind and once ate a human toe off while the victim was sleeping. Oh! Remember like the sleepovers we had when we were kids? You know, the first one to fall asleep gets their toe eaten. <sighs> aggressive and ate a human toe. How do you? Eat the toe. It's hard to eat a toe underwater. It softens it. No, oh, I can't say that again. A human toe while sleeping. While sleeping. Why would a dog eat a human toe? And why would a human toe be around one of these foreign cats? Now you're thinking, one of these foreign cats. Because <laughs> I think it, I mean, these are my only two viable choices at this point. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm gonna say this wild cat sneaks up into like people's tents and starts eating toes. Okay. 
I don't know. These little cuties use an adorable hunting tactic where they perfectly imitate the sound of their prey's dying young, and when the panicked mother comes rushing to help, that's when they attack and murder her. Why are you so, why are you so into that? It just sounds fun. <laughs> this is why whenever I hear my kids crying, I, I don't go to help, because it might be a trap. <laughs> you are demented. Mm -hmm. My kids are tough, man. Okay. We don't cry in the McLaughlin household. We bottle up our emotions and let them come out when we're adults. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if, uh, I know a swan is a demented creature. I also think they're vegetarian. Okay. So where, then do they get, where do you get your facts? <laughs> From animalfact.org. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you should be going to animalfacts.com. Oh. And then you'd, Swans eat you'd be meats? straight. I think if a swan would eat like a little fish or something or an insect, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Dolphins are so smart. This is, this is such a insidious technique that I think you gotta have lots of smarts to do it. Okay. We all love heartwarming stories of cute animals being helped by good humans, but don't help this cute animal. They are aggressive and once flipped a man out of his boat and attacked him until he drowned. There's a boat involved. Yep. Yeah. And to so, be fair, the animal, uh, the man was trying to steal this animal's wallet. So it was justified. Stand your ground. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, hmm. I think this is probably a water dwelling creature. Yep. Uh huh. So you think a swan could eat a man? I don't know, why don't you go to animalfact.org and find out. <laughs> but how's, a, how's Nemo's dad gonna eat a man? It didn't eat a man, it attacked him until he drowned. Okay. Then I think it's a swan. Okay. Because these swans go nuts. They are scary. You ever been uh, stared down by a swan? Huh. Look away, man. <laughs> Okay. Scary. For the first six months of their survival, these baby animals have to stimulate their mother's cloaca, a hole responsible for urine, feces, and reproduction, and eat their poop straight out the butt. That reminds me, I should call my mom more. Eat the mother's feces. Yeah. yeah for the record, uh, cloaca is my favorite Kardashian. <laughs> Just thought I should oh. remind See, you of that. I, I think I know that this is a koala. You think you know that? So on my switcheroo round, I think I know that koalas are poop eaters. Uh, so I'm gonna put this down here and then something else has gotta eat face. Yeah, so you gotta put a placeholder that you can remember that you should trade with a koala. So something that rhymes with koala. <laughs> something that's up there that rhymes with koala. Cla clown Okay, good. Fish. All right. All What's right, going on? here's the last one, Link. This famously cute animal does what any of us would do in times of stress. If the dominant female dies in their group, the male will develop female genitalia and mate with their own children. They will also eat their weak babies. It's a complicated grief response. So a, fem a male becomes a female. And then mates with their own children. Whew. This is also uh, the exact scenario that will unfold in this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. <laughs> I've got sources. I think I've heard of dogs doing this. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't dogs. This isn't pigs. This isn't penguins. Ah. So it's, 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 <laughs> you think you might have gotten something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Man, how do I, I, I'm trying to, I, I can't imagine any of these animals having the ability to change sex. That's what's so crazy. Ah, hmm. Except maybe the clown, I, I, think, I, I think my guess is gonna be clownfish. Man. So for now, I'm just gonna say, yeah, sure. Dogs can change sex. Mm -hmm. And to be clear, that is specifically a Datsun. I thought you might recognize that, given the fact that you own one. <laughs> that might help you in your switch around. Switch around. Oh, it's you know the old switcheroo. I'm calling it switch around now for the summer. Yeah, I could tell this was the Datsun. Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you how many you have right. I get to switch stuff around. Okay. Okay. Link, you have. Two, right. Okay. You need okay. to get two more. But it's but I'm I'm not done. Right. I can, can switch things around. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, I'm almost positive that koalas are poop eaters. Okay. So I'm putting that here. Okay. And then I have no clue which of these animals is a sex changer, but the only one that I think it could be is somehow a clownfish. Somehow. I, I think that was in the deleted scenes from Finding Nemo. Right, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, can I just have this one, by yeah, the way? Yeah, sure. 
You could also find a place to put it on the board, but you know. Okay, so happily eating human feces. No, faces. Oh, faces. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because that would be big, that would be the dog. Big difference. Human faces. That's got to be something different now. You know what? I think it's a freaking pig. Not this pig, but I think a much scarier version of a pig. Somehow. Okay. And any more choices? Let's see. I, th I think I'm right about the poisonous elbows. Man, the dolph dolphin. Dolphins are so smart; they could do anything. All right, I'm gonna settle here. Okay. These are my final answers. Here we go, let's work through this. Happily eat human, not feces, but faces. <gasps> it's yes! right, it's a pig. That's how farmers uh, dispose of each other. <laughs> yeah. Right, when the, no, seriously, when the crop season's it over. It does happen, like if, if a farmer falls into a big Slop. patch of pigs, they will be reduced to almost nothing within minutes. Oh my god. It happens, it happens every year. But Look it up, animalfact.org. And it, but it makes the bacon taste really good. Poisonous elbows! Yes! You're right! Slow Loris! Slow Loris! That wicked little cutie. Demented. Aggressive and ate a human toe. <laughs> I don't know about the grammar there, but... I can't eat a human toe. It's a Dotson. Yes, your what? little cute little jade is just thinking about going into your... Under Shoes? the covers and... Yeah, eating your toes. She does burrow down into the covers. Yeah, don't, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm serious, man. You should stop that. You should put her in a cage at night. Well, no, I'll just wear chain mail on my feet because okay. she's staying in the bed. That's good. Okay, so, but you got two right so far. Okay. Mimic baby sound to murder. Come on. That's the margay. They specifically imitate the sounds of the monkeys, the baby monkeys they that they prey on. They eat baby monkeys? Well, they, they eat the mothers. Oh, wow. They make the sound of the babies and they eat the mothers. You know, it's cooler. Okay. Still only two right. Drown human men. I, I'm probably, this should have been dolphins, shouldn't it? No, you're right. Okay, it's, good. Now, uh, I know they're mean. Dolphins uh, can do some heinous things. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to talk about it, but they do some really, really bad things to human women. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up. Animalfact.org, look it up. Uh, but the swan specifically has been known to drown human men. Okay, Link, that's three. All you gotta do is get one more right and you win your very own cuddly plushy toy. And you have to eat your mother's feces. Uh, <laughs> maybe I won't be calling her after all. Eat mother's feces! Yes! Koala! Yeah. And Link, father eats and mates with young Woo! Love and hip hop and clownfish. Link, Woo! that's not just four correct, that's five correct. You're an animal genius. That's right, planet Earth to the rescue. Here's what you win. Yes, this is a man who turned into a woman and ate his young. What is it? I don't know. Happy Nemo day. <laughs> I'll be sleeping with this tonight and every night. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Gronya. This is Scully, Noodle, Mabel, and Winston. They're all Dashens. We're watching Good Mythical Morning, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh. She's not gonna have any toes <laughs> in just a couple of months, man. She is living dangerously. I'm gonna steal that maple. That's the color I'm gonna get next. Oh, you're doing it again? Yes. Click through to hear some of the most evil things human children have ever said. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land in Good Mythical More. Oh. We'll be here for a while, but our 48 hour flash sale won't be Hurry over to mythical.store now and save before it's gone.